Welcome to Electron Line. Sometimes to find the area between two curves, the trick is to find the limits of integration. And that of course also depends upon which way you orient your area element dA. So here we're given two functions again, y equals 2x and y equals x squared minus 4x, and we're supposed to find the area between those two curves. So the first thing to do is to graph the two curves to see what they look like. Now y equals 2x, that's an easy one to graph. That kind of looks like this. So we have y equals 2x, and then we have the y equals x squared minus 4x, that looks like a quadratic equation that opens upward, and x equals 0 on the origin, that will be one place where it crosses the x-axis, and then you can see when you factor out an x, then plus or minus 2, so we have 1, 2, that's where it crosses the x-axis, maybe I want to make it a little smaller, so how about 1, 2 like this? And you can see that the parabola opens upward like that and like this. And it looks like we're trying to find the area between the two curves there. Which means we need to find out where they cross one another. So that will be right here at the origin. That's straightforward. But where did it cross here? Well, that means we need to solve those two equations simultaneously. y is equal to x squared minus 4x. And so when we solve those two equations equal to each other, we set them equal to each other, we get x squared minus 4x is equal to 2x. Moving that across, we get x squared minus 6x is equal to 0. And so when we factor out the next, we get x times x minus 6 is equal to 0. Sure, sure enough, when x equals 0 or, whoop, I forgot the O, when or x equals 6, are the two places where the two curves cross one another. So that means that here, this is equal to 6 comma, when we plug in 6 in here, we get 12 for the y value, and here we get 0, 0. So at least that gives us the x and the y coordinates of the two places where the two functions cross. Now we need to decide which way we want to orient our dA, and it looks like if we do it in a vertical direction, then we have the top and the bottom of our d always attached to the same curve. Notice when we do it like this, we always have the straight line at the top and the curve at the bottom. When we do it like this, notice that here we have the line and the curve, and here it's from curve to curve. So that means we would have to take two integrals to do it this way, but only one integral when we have our dA looking like that. So we'll go ahead, we'll put our dA down like this. So our dA is going to be equal to the difference of the, or the, the length of the y value, which is the difference of the two curves in the y direction. So we have the upper curve minus the lower curve, so we'll call this y2, we'll call this y1. So this will be equal to y2 minus y1 times the thickness of the dA, which is dx. So there's our area element, and then since we're going to integrate in the x direction, the x limits will go from x equals 0 to x equals 6. So that means our area here will be equal to the integral of our dA areas. So that will be equal to the integral from x equals 0 to x equals 6 of dA will now be y2 minus y1 times dx. And now we have to do now is plug in what our y2 and y1 are equal to in order to start the integral. So this will be equal to from 0 to 6 y2 will be 2x, subtract from that y1, and y1 is x squared minus 4x, that will be minus x squared, and a minus times a minus is plus 4x times dx, and that will indeed give us our integral. Now, let's see, we can first add these two together, so this will be the integral from 0 to 6 of minus x squared plus 6x dx, and when we integrate, we get the following. This is equal to minus x cubed over 3 plus 6x squared over 2, evaluated from 0 to 6. When we plug in the lower limit, we get nothing. Plug in the upper limit, we get the following. So this will be equal to 6 cubed divided by 3, which is 6 squared divided by, uh, let's see here, times 2. That's 36. That would be minus 72. Plus... We have 3 times this, so we have uh, x squared, that's 36 times 3, that would be 108. And minus 72 plus 108, that's equal to positive 36. So that will be the area in between the two curves from x equals 0 to x equals 6. And that's how it's done.